Good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide. We are on January 22nd, 2019, and welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you for joining me and watching this large system affecting southeastern parts of Africa right now. Tropical Cyclone Desmond made a quite an impact, actually, overnight throughout Africa as it blew up when it hit the coastline. Now, about four days ago, I was going to put out a video about a possible extreme weather event coming to Africa. Um, this has become quite a situation now, as flooding has persisted in parts of Mozambique, as well as all of the surrounding rivers, as almost 300 millimeters of rain fell. That is a foot of rain in 24 hours to a very dry and desolate Africa. Not really desolate, but populated, but very dry. Now, th these are tropical regions. They should be getting rain, but Tropical Cyclone Desmond almost made it on land. And this is what we've been talking about during the Grand Solar Minimum. We'll get more into that in a moment, please. Hang out here. As we're looking at the article from Al Jazeera, Tropical Cyclone Desmond makes landfall. And now the region on high alert as the second storm begins to emerge east of the country. So Madagascar is about to get 200, almost 250 millimeters of rain as well during this large tropical cyclone event hitting Africa. That's right, folks, this is an extreme weather event. And I knew I should have put out my video four days ago about the coming event because I saw it coming in the forecast and the conditions were perfect. I actually thought the storm was gonna make it on land. But you can see here, 277 millimeters of rain fell in a 24 hour span. Just imagine what that would do. Well, look what it did to parts of Saudi Arabia and Yemen. They were having extreme weather events in their areas as well. And they're happening on every continent now. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Daily events worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared. This is quite a big deal. We're going to be hearing a lot of devastating stories from the, these flooding conditions in Mozambique. I just wanted to show you here a NASA worldview, what it looked like as it had formed just west of Madagascar and tried to definitely get on Africa. And when it did hit the upper atmosphere, which were the upper level winds were way too strong, it just blew the top right off. And you can see clearly on those images that I was showing in the first of the video, but on NASA Worldview, you can see a very tightly whipped up cyclone west of Madagascar and another one coming in now watching north of Madagascar there very large low pressure system they might join forces and head west but I'm watching the five-day forecast for Meteor Earth and they're saying it's going to head southeast so we'll see what happens here in the coming days that is a very large storm if that makes it onto Africa it will be devastating and will most will definitely make it right across the continent. Almost 300 millimeters of rain falling in Africa. So yeah, the extreme weather events have increased tenfold around the planet. Here's a five day forecast showing remnants of tropical cyclone Desmond and also the joint force low from the north. Well, from the equator, sorry. Heading south, South Indian Ocean, Australia, wow, they've got quite a cyclone hitting northeastern parts of Queensland, 
and this one will be penetrating the land as well. So watch for flooding conditions in these areas, northeastern Australia. Another cyclone forming northwest of Australia as well. So definitely bringing some relief to northern parts of Australia. But still, the heat wave is still quite a thing to talk about. Wow, temperatures reaching 50 degrees Celsius in some areas. And parts of Europe still enveloped in an early devastating winter. Just search your local news, folks. Global food shortages will be coming soon due to environmental disasters affecting our crops across the globe. North America watching another Colorado low and nor'easter develop. But this one will be even more powerful than the last one, bringing a lot more rain than it did from the last nor'easter. That's all I can say. The coming days will be very, very interesting across the United States as we've still got a lot of Pacific moisture trying to come into a very cold Canada. And the cold is winning. But we do here in Calgary. Come this weekend, we're going to have temperatures up to 7 degrees as another Chinook moves in. That's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So it should be nice, but the temperatures will still persist overnight. And then next week, polar vortex will be back. As we are still watching very large low pressure system in the Pacific Ocean. Multiple vortices. A very peculiar situ situation, a situation <laughs> developing in the Pacific Ocean. It's going to wrap around that polar vortex. February will be a very cold and historic winter all across the Northern Hemisphere. Let's look at the earthquakes from the last 24 hours. Large 6.7 earthquake, Prince Edward Islands region. That happened today at a 10 kilometer depth. Now, that earthquake is not to any human threat. Nobody living around that region, so I didn't put out a, an alert. Most times I would. The 6.4, that was really early this morning in Indonesia. And we've had some large aftershocks since. Seems to be moving east again. So we've got a lot of earthquakes to talk about. A strange earthquake. Um, in Africa, like off the coast of Africa. It, a large earthquake like that does not happen often. So it's, it's, it's quite intriguing actually. Especially when tropical cyclone Desmond was spinning right around that region. Another strange earthquake here, the 4.9 northeast of Santa Cruz, Portugal. In the last seven days has been very busy. A lot of deep earthquakes in our regular regions in Tonga, Indonesia, South America, the Caribbean. But watching quite a large thrust here moving north towards the Cascadia subduction zone. So please stay aware and prepared. Morning Dew will be here for you, posting my daily dues starting today and, and tomorrow. I'm going to be doing my best every day to put up my daily dues. These last two videos that I had released. I apologize, they were not my regular videos, but I needed to get them out. They were taking up space on my phone and my laptop, so now that they're gone, back to the Daily Do. Here for you. Daily events worldwide. So another thing that happened today, looking in that area right there, that was the Michael Volcano that I was focusing in on. So that erupted today as well, but I wanted to show you here in the Pacific Disaster Center all the disasters from around the world. 
and we've got extreme cold temperatures in Japan, blizzard warnings in India, winter storm warnings. Like, what is going on here, folks? Disasters all over the place. Cold temperatures dominating the Northern Hemisphere, dominating the United States. And look at all these flood alerts. And the United States has got a lot more rain coming the next couple days. I want to thank you all for watching today and in to any of my new subscribers, welcome to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Thank you so much for watching today. Please share this video with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. God bless humanity. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.